In this week's episode, we will discuss the race between AR and VR and its impact on the smartphone market. And there's a major disruptor this week with new technology from Humane that will blow your mind. Hey there, I'm Ethan Bach, and I'm thrilled to be coming to you today from Alt Ethos, a metaverse and experiential design studio in our weekly roundup. In under five minutes, we'll be giving you the latest metaverse, XR, and Web3 news that'll keep you ahead of the curve. Today, we're talking about the ultimate showdown between AR and VR. These cutting edge technologies are changing the way we interact with the world. Although the technology has been slow due to hardware and technology development for wearables, with the help of AI, we are sure to see the technology and the designs change significantly in the near future. All right, so VR has been owning the market so far in this race with big hitters like Sony, HTC, and Meta with Oculus dominating the market, but headset sales still pale to comparison of other tech adoptions such as smartwatches. But the tables may turn soon as AR is expected to see the highest growth rate over the forecasted period. Plus, Apple is gearing up to release AR glasses that could shake up the market later this year. So we look at this in terms of adoption and seeing the market and using this to see how people are gonna use technology in the future. And the race for AR is predicted to disrupt the smartphone market. So that's why everyone's getting into it. This smartphone market sold over 1 billion smartphones last year. We gotta talk about mixed reality. So mixed reality or MX, is the best of both worlds, seamlessly blending the real and virtual worlds. And it's getting more and more popular with devices like Oculus Quest Pro, Microsoft HoloLens taking the lead, and other companies like Magic Leap, HTC, and Varo are making waves in the mixed reality space. But while these three technologies have their place, we predict that AR and mixed reality have way more use cases and will be widely more adopted amongst the general public than VR. VR we see mostly for like medical, surgeries, gaming, that kind of thing, training. The future of VR, AR, and mixed reality is still unknown, and we can't wait to see what happens over the next few years or in the next few months. And check this out, if you have not seen this, holy cow, this is a game changer. We're gonna talk about this newer company getting attention this week called Humane and their innovative approach to technology. Humane is developing a wearable device that utilizes AI that combines a camera, sensor, and projector into one small package and acts as your personal AI assistant. You wear it on your lapel. It's insane. The device is designed to enable people to interact with technology in a more natural and intuitive way without constantly staring at your screen, having cramped fingers or horns growing out of the back of your neck. That's a real thing, you should check it out. This device can capture images and videos, detect a user's movements and gestures and project content onto any surface. So what makes Humane unique is their approach to design. Like we love this, I never thought of a lapel. This is amazing. They focus on creating technology that respects users' privacy, number one. And we can't say the same for Meta and Ray-Ban's smart glasses, which are total privacy risk. They are challenging the status quo of tech design and AI and showing what is possible to create technology that's both innovative and responsible. And watch out, Apple. They're here to disrupt the smartphone industry. So check this out. This demonstration that happened via TED Talk given by the co-founder Iman Chaudhary, had this guy answering a phone call from the palm of his hand. Like the babblefish of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, it translates languages in real time. Chaudhary says, the future will not be held in our hands and it won't be on our face either. The future of technology may almost be invisible. We love this presentation and this guy's demeanor is so badass. We recommend you keep an eye on him and Humane in the next few months and years because it's going to get really exciting. Thank you for tuning in to our weekly roundup, the latest in XR, Metaverse, and Web3 news. Before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. 
And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Next week, we have something special for you. We'll be reviewing this Unreal Engine Metaverse and take a look at Reality Innovators Network networking event. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. So we'll see you next week for another exciting episode of XR News in under five minutes.